I'm Max Venus, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your playlist in FL Studio. So you might be wondering, why do I want to spend time organizing my playlist? But this is a fundamentally important part uh, of uh, music production, really, because you will need to come back to come back to tracks, maybe change a snare for a record label. They might want you to change a certain sound or make a radio edit. And when you come back to your project, it's very sometimes it can be quite intimidating. Everything's everywhere and you might struggle. It might take you much longer than you, you originally thought uh, just to achieve a really simple thing. So organization is a great tool to use uh, so that coming back to projects is an easy and you can is, is an easy thing to do and you can make changes on the fly without having to think about it. So at the moment you can see this project is quite, it's very gray and there's a few automation clips around and we can't really see what's doing what. Um, I mean, let's have a listen to what we've got and we'll start categorizing stuff and put it into groups and giving it some color so we know where things are. So at the top here, we've got a little bass synth loop. I think below it is a kick high and then a kick low underneath there. So first of all, I'm going to insert a track above um, and I'm going to move the synth, the synth uh, kind of element down and put the drums up top. So I'm going to create some space by right-clicking here. You can also just right-click and press I on the keyboard uh, to insert new tracks. So you can insert a few tracks to create some space up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all my drums up to the top of this project. So I'm just going to first of all find them. So the synth loop there. I've got the kicks, the two kicks here, which I'll pull up. So the kicks can sit at the top. Um, what else have we got here? It's a little synth element. So we've got some uh, some hats, a little snare, clap, and a little uh, running running hat. So we're gonna move all those guys up. What else have we got here? A little nine oh nine. Hold that up. I think there's some uh, small like per percussion elements here. So like some drum fill stuff. I'm also going to put that up. I need a bit more space up here, so I'm just going to add a few more tracks. Okay. So you've got to be careful because they, they might slide around, but that is where they were, I believe. Sorry. Let's put those where they belong, which is here. Okay. Just a quick check now. I've got some effects there. I think this is a synth element. I think there's some more drums here. Just a bit of a shaker. And I think that then will be all the drums. So we're going to want to group these now so that we can uh, easily hide them and uh, give them a color as well so they're easily standing out in the track. So we'll just create one more insert at the top uh, and call this the gr drum group. So give it a name and then you can color it here by selecting uh, the color of choice. I usually go for red for my drums. Uh, so then you can right click underneath and you're going to select group with above track. So you can you can right click and select that option or you can just press G on the keyboard after you right click. So just right click and pressing G will then group this below track with the one above it. And you can do that for all the ones below as well. So you right click and press G, right click and press G and work our way down and just group every single one of these drums in there. So. If I just scroll up to the top, you can see I've uh, spent some time just going through and naming all the, the uh, different clips that I've got here. So just to go over quickly what I've been doing, uh, so you can select a click, uh, clip, sorry, um, and if you basically select the rename and color option, it then gives you the option to give a color and uh, give a name to that clip. So once you've given your color and name to clip, you can right click on the, le on the left here and just auto name uh, so what that does is it auto names the uh, the actual track in the playlist with that color and the um, and the name you've given it. So you don't have to type it all in twice. So I've got all my drums now grouped up here, so I can fold them away and hide them if I like to. So already now I can see now where all my drums in the in this playlist sit. So I'm just left with the uh, synth elements below and a few of the FX. So another fundamental part uh, is 
you'll need to basically ensure that you've got all your automation for your clips associated and grouped in for the right clips so that you can quickly find out what automation is affecting the specific click clip that you've got. Um, so for instance, this synth loop at the moment, I've got these two automation clips. At the moment they are, they are sat underneath it, but it'd be nice for me to have a, a clear picture of what automation is associated with this synth loop. So uh, I'd just basically do the same thing, uh, just as a best practice, keep all your automation for the specific clip underneath it, and then you can hide it away and expand it when you need it. So just additionally on that, you can also color the, uh, so we're gonna just color the synth clip, we're gonna give it a uh, blue color. And you can also apply the same color to the automation. So if you just click on that on the left, on the right side, sorry, uh, and then the last color you've got is down below, so you can quickly just select the same color. Um, we'll do the same thing for this one below as well. So now we've got that synth loop and all the automation easily recognizable. And then you can just right click here and auto, auto name, and then it will also give the, uh, the track the same, um, the same color and name. So we can see there. And if I was to change the name of this to just synth, synth loop for instance, and then right click and auto name it. You can see it pulls the name as well, which is helpful. So I basically just repeat that process for this entire project until I've got everything segregated out nicely, my effects, my drums, um, yeah, and the synthesizers, and maybe I'd split out the bass, so I could have the bass separately, it depends on your organization. But they're the kind of fundamental key key things that you need to know about organization in the playlist. So in this video, we've looked at the benefits of organization in the playlist. Um, we've looked at colouring clips, auto-naming, renaming the clips, and also grouping. 